Yes, so again, again, this part of our class is what? Reading and the listening focus. Reading and the listening focus. In our first part today, we focused on speaking, the first part, then grammar, how to use am, um, is, are, then countries and the nationalities, vocabulary focus. Now, the third part in this class is listening and reading focus. Okay, so now, what do you know? Let me ask you some generic questions. What do you know? Test your knowledge of countries, languages, and the nationalities. Okay, what should you do? Match the stamps to the countries. Do you know stamps? Yes. What does it mean? Um. Tabarbarit, as you say in Arabic. Yes. Okay. We use them to pass letters. So, what should you do? Match. Do as as much as you can. Match the country to the right stamp. Can you read the countries? Poland, yes. China. Poland, China, Brazil, Egypt. Yes. So which stamp is for Poland? Try to guess. Um, you can start with anyone you know, by the way. You can start um, with anyone. Yes. A, B, uh, C, B. Poland, Poland C. C. Yes, you may be right. By the way, you will listen and check your answer. It's okay. I don't say anything now. Try to check your knowledge. Then you should listen and double check. As you answer, Poland, C. So you yes. will listen and check your answer. Taib, what about China? Uh, China, B. China, maybe B. Yes. What about Brazil? Uh, Brazil, A. Brazil, A. What about Egypt? Egypt, D. D. Okay. You may be right, you may be wrong. We will see bear your listening. Type next. Match currencies to the countries. What I mean by currency? Excellent. Wonderful. Yes. So Russia, Turkey, India, Argentina. Okay. Here we have four okay. currencies, as you see. Ruby, Ruble, Lira, Pisu. Russia, what is the currency in Russia? Um, Pisu. You may be right. You will see. What is the currency in Turkey? Lira. Lira. You may be right or wrong. Well, you will listen. India. Um, India. Can you read the first one and the second Ruby. one? Ruby, Rubel. Ruby, Rubel. 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 Ruby for India? Yes. What about Argentina? Rubel. Rubel. You will see. Type. Question two. Which word is? Here we have some languages. Here the same meaning, but different languages. Different languages. What do you think? Russian? Chinese, Italian, Arabic, Spanish. Which word is Russian? What do you think? A, B, um, A, D, E. Uh, C. C. C, this is Russian. Maybe, maybe you are right. Type, which one is Chinese? A. A. Italian. Um, I think. B, maybe. Yes. I think Arabic is easy. Marhab. Uh, Arabic. Yes, this is Arabic, of course. It's Spanish. Maybe. Uh, no. Maybe. The, the, so you will see again. What about these companies? Which of these companies is Korean, American, Japanese, British? Here, Honda, 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 is it Korean company, American company, Japanese company, British company? What do you think? Honda. Um, 
maybe Japanese. Maybe Japanese. Samsung. Um, huh, I think Korean company. Uh, M and S. Huh? British. British company and Google. American. American company. Okay. As you know, these are international companies. So all people around the world may know them. Okay. I say Honda car. My car is Honda. Means what? My car is made in Japan. You know, yes. for example, my mobile is Samsung. Means what? My mobile is made in Korea. I I M and S. My my uh, my T-shirt from is from M and S. Means what? It's made in uh, UK, and so on. Type. What nationality are these singers? Here, Andrew, Andrew, Holly, Delta, Goodrim, and Lewis. Try to guess. Ah, the first one, check the flag. You know? Um. Mm, Andrew, maybe huh? Italian? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or French, maybe. The second one, Del 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 uh, Australian. Australian. And the last one? Mexico. Maybe Mexico or Polish. Okay, now this is the end of the survey, Jude. Now, what should you do? Listen and check your answers. Ready? Yes. Yeah, let's listen. Thanks. Listening. One. Listening. Stamp A is from Brazil. Stamp B Brazil. is from China. Uh -huh. Stamp C is from Poland. Mm -hmm. And stamp D is from Egypt. So, what do you think? Your answer correct? Yes. Excellent. Perfect. Type. Question two. Two. Currencies. The rupee is the currency of India. Okay, great. The ruble is the currency of Russia. Russia, ruble, yeah. The lira is the currency of Turkey. Okay. The peso is the currency of Argentina. Okay, are you correct? No, just two are the correct. Yes, so the first question you got four points, and the second question you got two points, right? This is your school. So here you got four out of four. And this one, you got two out of four. What about three? About languages? Listen. Three. All of these words mean hello. Mm -hmm. A is in Chinese. Yes. B is in Italian. Italian. C is in Russian. Russian. D is in Spanish. Spanish. And E is in Arabic. Yeah, correct? Four. Yes. Yes, perfect. So here you got five points. Type question four. Companies. Four. Samsung is a Korean company, okay. a famous Korean electrical company. Mm -hmm. Google is an American company. Honda is a Japanese car company. Marks and Spencer is a British company. Yes, I think here you got four, right? Yes. Four. Great. The last one. Five. Andrea Bocelli is Italian. He's from Tuscany in Italy. Mm -hmm. Delta Goodrim is from Sydney in Australia. Mm -hmm. She's Australian. Luis Miguel is from Mexico, but his parents are from Spain and Italy. Yes, I think you got three points. Okay, yes. which means you have uh, you have a strong uh, 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 general knowledge. This is great. Means what? You are a good reader. You have a lot of knowledge about different companies, different currencies, different 
nationalities and languages around the world. This is great. Okay, so this is the second part or the main uh, the, the, the reading and the listening focus, uh, as you uh, mentioned. So the second the grammar focus of this lesson, it's really easy. Let's finish it and end of our lesson today, right? So let's start the grammar focus, but this time positive and the negative, short forms. If you remember the grammar focus one, this one focus on what? Only positive, positive forms. Am um, is are. But the second grammar focus of this lesson, positive and the negative, short forms. Okay? So here, can you please, Jude, match sentences one to 15 to photos, photos, A, B, C, A, B, C. You have three different photos, okay? okay? So her name is Hannah. Her name is Hannah. Which one? Which picture? What do you think? It's it's a bun, by the way. It's a bun. C. So this picture, this girl or this lady is called Hannah. His name is huh? Gastuvo. Gastuvo. B. Maybe B. Type their names are Amy and Lucas. A. A. He's from Brazil. Maybe B. Type they're from Sydney, Australia. A, uh, right? A. She's from yes. Krakow in Poland. Uh, C. C. She's 33 and she's married. What do you think? Um, C. Yes, you are right. They're both 26. Uh, A. A. He's 19. Um, B. B. That's right. Um, she's a businesswoman. C. C. Yes. Um, they aren't married. They're friends. A. A. She is A. not she isn't on holiday, she's on business. Mm -hmm. What? She isn't on holiday, she's on business. She. Yes. Now listen and the check. Listen and the check. Okay? Ready? Listen and check. Listening. Hey. Hi, my name's Lucas Kenny, and this is my friend Amy. Mm -hmm. We're 26, and we're from Sydney in Australia. We aren't married, we're friends, and we're on holiday in Europe. Mm -hmm. B. Hello, my name's Gustavo Fonseca. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Sao Paulo in Brazil. I'm a student, a law student at university in Sao Paulo and I'm not married. C. Hello, my name's Hanna Slotnik and I'm from Krakow in Poland. Today I'm in New York, but I'm not here on holiday. I'm here on business. I'm 33 and I'm married with two children. Yes, great. Now listen again. Okay, Jude, ready to listen again? Yes. So please listen again. After listening, I'll ask you, please give me some details about each picture. So try to focus on okay. their personal details. How old are they? Where are they from? 
uh, what are their jobs, are they friends, are they married, and so on. Listen. Unit 1, recording 7. <clears throat> A. Hi, my name's Lucas Kenny, and this is my friend Amy. We're 26, and we're from Sydney in Australia. We aren't married, we're friends, and we're on holiday in Europe. B. Hello, my name's Gustavo Fonseca. I'm 19 years old, and I'm from Sao Paulo in Brazil. I'm a student, a law student, at university in Sao Paulo, and I'm not married. C. Hello, my name's Hanna Slotnik, and I'm from Krakow in Poland. Today I'm in New York, but I'm not here on holiday. I'm here on business. I'm 33, and I'm married with two children. Okay. Picture A. What do you know about the people in picture A? Um, they are Amy and Lucas. Mm -hmm. They're from Sydney. Okay. Um, they're both 26. They're friends. Excellent. And where are they? Um, they are in the... Mm -hmm. Yes. They are... Huh? In Europe, okay, they are tourists. They are tourists. Okay, they are tourists. They are tourists where? In Europe. In this picture, they are tourists in Europe. Now, what about picture B? What do you know about uh, uh, the person in picture B? Uh, his name is uh, Gustavo. Okay, good. Um, he's from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil, yeah. Um, uh, he is 19 years. Yeah. He is student in university. Correct, exactly, yeah. Okay. What about C? Um, C, she is from Raukau, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she is 53 years. She's mm -hmm. married. Um, With two children. Yes. Yeah. She and is she is. In front of me. She is in a business. She's a businesswoman. Great. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Jude. Wonderful. Great. So now, this grammar box, this grammar box. Please complete it in your book quickly. I am, this long form. The second one, short form. Here negative, long form. Here negative, short form. Okay. So about short form positive and short form negative. What about long form, uh, uh, long form and short form positive? I am. How to write this short form positive? How to write it? I apostrophe M like this. M. Okay. You are. Huh? Your. That he is. How to write it? His. His. He, apostrophe S, like this. His. That she is, how to read it? She's. She's, yes. She, apostrophe S. We are where, as you see. It is its. They are, how to write it? There. There, yes. There. Again, please, Jude. Read the long form and the short form of positive. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Read, I, I read the long form and please, you should read the short form. I am. I'm. 
am. You are. You are. He is. Yes. She is. She is. It is. Yes. We are. We. They are. Yeah. Excellent. Type. What about negative? Negative, long form, and short form. I am not. Look, here, look. I am not. Okay? And um, this is really important. So, here the short form with am, not with not. The you are not. You huh? aren't. 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 Sir, I am writing with my finger. That's why the, the handwriting is not very clear. So next class, inshallah, the smart pen uh, should be ready. So I can write with it. So you are not. See, you say here, you huh? are, aren't, like this. Aren't. Aren't. You aren't. He is not. How to write it? Is not. He isn't. He isn't. Isn't. She is not. Huh? She, she isn't. Isn't. Again. N apostrophe T. It is not. Again. It isn't. It isn't. We are not. We aren't. As you see. They are not. Huh? They aren't. They aren't. So again, Jude, please. I, I'll read the long form. Please read the short form. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. You are not. You aren't. You aren't. Great. He is not. He isn't. He is not. She isn't. It is not. It isn't. Yes, we are not. We aren't. They are not. They aren't. Yes, perfect. So now, uh, uh, yes, here, what should we do? You can write, uh, uh, you can, this is for, uh, you can write four true sentences and the four four sentences about the people in, in photos. But you did this in, in order, no problem. So take the sentence that are true for you. Okay? Here. Okay. Take the sentences that are true for you. Correct false sentences. Okay, what true for you? For example, you are in an English lesson. I think this is true for you. Right? You're from Korea. I am not yeah. from Korea. I am from, you can say I'm from KSA or Saudi Arabia. Next one. Yes, you have one minute to finish this, please. Okay. Take true for you uh, and X or cross what is not true for you. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Your, huh? you're Saudi, right? Yes. So you are not Italian, you're Saudi. Okay, next. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your school is in Los Angeles, strong. Okay. Uh. Your classrooms very small, right? Okay. Your teachers? Your teachers. 
Ron. Okay. Your teacher is Mary. Yes, you can say this is true. Mother, the businesswoman. Ron. Yes. And your parents are on holiday. Ron. Yes, your English lessons are in the evening. Ron. Yes, are in you are 30 years, 35 years old. Um, You're at work. Um, okay, so now uh, this is the end of the grammar uh, uh, focus, grammar focus two. And the please, you, Jude, here in your homework, please complete the study as we explained, the study practice page 138. So let's stop now. So, but be before we end our class, what did you learn? In this lesson, um, I, um, uh, the grammar, uh, the, the short verbs and the long verb. Yes. And, um, okay. Yes, that's correct. So in this, the, the last part uh, in this lesson, it was grammar focus, how to use positive and the negative short forms. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in our first uh, parts, we, we, we started with reading and listening. And the grammar focus one, how to use verb to, be, verb to be in the positive. And the personal questions when you meet someone for the first time and asking and answering some personal questions using uh, <clears throat> the survey. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson today. And the next class, inshallah, Rabbil Amin, we should start with uh, uh, jobs. Here, we should start with jobs and complete the remaining grammar uh, points. Until we meet, inshallah, tomorrow, please try to answer the workbook and then send the uh, homework on your uh, WhatsApp. Please complete the workbook, the vocabulary, uh, and the grammar focus. We finished only grammar one and the grammar two. Okay? Uh, okay. and uh, spelling countries and the nationalities okay any questions no thank you okay. thank you very much all the best see you tomorrow thank you thank you